it's going down everybody it's hot hybrid hybrid um, just gonna talk some bulbs right now okay I, I get this question quite often what kind of bulbs do I use I think people think I use some kind of high-end bulb I think that's their uh, you know just what they assume just because of the yields and shit like that so um, that's definitely not true I don't use anything high-end you guys probably you guys know me come on man I I do build everything myself you know what I mean I, I uh, you know I save money where it's absolutely <clears throat> unnecessary so this is a, a nice bulb, right? You guys, most people would be like, oh, that's a really nice bulb. Would you pay for it? hundred bucks? No. I got this bulb for about $18, okay? <clears throat> now, before we get into this bulb and this bulb, those the, that actually recognize bulbs probably know that this is a, a Digilux bulb. I want to note a difference so people know um, what kind of bulbs they're buying. <coughs> if they're... If they're buying them online, there's a lot of sellers online that you, that buy bulbs, and they these are guys that run warehouses. They buy like 50, 100, you know, bulbs. One, they're usually 1,000 watt bulbs, and they use them for one grow, and then they replace them. You know, indoor grows. When we're talking about warehouse cash croppers, they understand the the no, a very valuable difference in a fresh bulb and a fucking a bulb that has been put through one grow. Um, you're talking about 10% over an entire warehouse. You're talking about thousands of dollars, dude. You're thousands of dollars. It could be a hundred grand. You know what I mean? So that's for that's for cash croppers. So what a lot of people do is even like people online, they will try to you you buy name brand bulbs and then use them a grow or two and then turn around and try to sell them as new to other individuals online that don't know how to spot a used bulb and um, a brand new bulb. Look at the, the high pressure sodium white tube in the middle here. You see how it's crystal, just crystal white. It's just perfect. It's never been burnt. Okay. Then look over here and you see black in black that it has this is a tube that's been burnt okay and it doesn't matter if you've been if you've lit this bulb for a week it will show signs like that um, if you've lit the bulb for a grow it will it will look like this these this bulb here has been through about one grow so it's just a backup bulb though it's nothing special um, that's a bulb that I a bought long time ago when I thought that you needed name brand bulbs and shit like that to you know pull mad weight you know what I'm saying but it's all full of shit dude that whole industry the whole their whole uh, you know advertising campaigns on the all these bulbs that just do all this fantastic shit and double your weight look man this is all I got to say it doesn't matter if you're buying name brand or fucking cheaper bulbs you have to replace them every other grow because the amount of lumens that the bulb loses every other grow is like 50%, okay? So you're still paying, you know, 600 watts worth, uh, 0.6 kilowatts worth of electricity to run this bulb, whether it's an old bulb or a brand new bulb putting out fresh lumens. So make sure that you get the most for your money and replace your bulbs every fucking grow. If you really want to be fucking tedious about this, every grow every fucking grow replace your bulbs there's no reason not to now I know if you're looking at this and you're like oh man I run cap and those fucking bulbs are expensive man they're like hundred twenty dollars locally well online cap bulbs are probably like 50 60 bucks um, we're talking about the Digilux here and people can't really afford to replace those every two months okay now when you throw in the Lumatec bulb you're not and you go up in price you're probably at like 75 80 bucks online probably at like one a hundred dollars in town or hundred and twenty dollars locally um, the this Lumatech bulbs were actually given to me um, because I did a trade with uh, with the, the owner of a hydroponic store locally you know I know everybody in town so um, these were given to me as part of the deal and uh, one of these bulbs 
was the Lumitech bulb I ran on the Super Silver Sour Diesel Haze, no, excuse me, the Blue Dream. The Lumitech bulb was run on the Blue Dream and the bulb was six months old, okay? I forgot to replace it. I wish I would have replaced it. Uh, we could have possibly ended up, we definitely would have ended up with better numbers. But those numbers were good. We were at over one gram per watt. But had I replaced the bulb and had started off with a fresh bulb, with, we could have done probably, I could have probably hit two pounds like I really wanted to. Um, but I didn't really um, take note of that variable. When I started that grow, I was so into everything else. So um, that was like the last thing on my mind at the moment until halfway through that grow, the RDW, or excuse me, the How to Grow DWC series, I realized that the bulbs were already six months old. So nevertheless, it still pulled. A half, one and a half pound, almost one and a half pounds. Let's say 1.3 something pounds. Okay, so we could have done better. I, I guarantee you, I would have hit two pounds had it been a fresh, brand new bulb. So that's the difference between, you know, an old, old bulb and a new bulb. Um, so, for anybody out there that's buying bulbs, if you've ever bought a bulb and you're buying bulbs, always check your bulbs, even at the fucking grow shops. I swear to fucking God. I have been at the grow shops and I've went to purchase a bulb because I absolutely needed it to and I didn't have any backups. Always pull the fucking bulb out of the box like this, okay? Before you pay. Because you wanna know why? The kids work in there, you know? The owners of the store don't work in the shops. They hire kids and you know, just whoever to do it. You can see that this is a brand new bulb. It's been lit only a couple hours because now compare it to this one. See, the fresh white, and then you got a little tinge dark on it. So it doesn't have that many hours on it. So, um, I swear to God, I have pulled bulbs out of boxes at the grow store that were blacker than shit, just used, dude. I swear to God, the grow shop workers are take, taking these bulbs home, using them, and then coming back and throwing them in the brand new boxes, taking the new bulbs out, and just replacing them with old bulbs. And I straight up say, look, dude, that bulb's been burnt. That bulb's old. And they're like, no, 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 no. Like, dude, you can't fucking bullshit me, bro. You know? You give me a fucking new bulb. Give me the box at the very bottom. Pull the bulb out. This fucker's brand new. He's like, oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, yeah, sure you didn't. Anyway, um, always check your bulbs before, if, especially if you're buying them in town at a grow shop. You know, don't take it as an insulting thing that you're, just check the bulb because you're paying over $100 for the bulb if you're buying it at a grow shop. So check the bulb and make sure it's good. If it's got any kind of dark spots like that, it's been used, don't buy it. Anything like that, it's been used, definitely do not buy it. Um, buy your bulbs online will save you 80%, 50 to 80%. And buying them from a reputable dealer online will ensure that you're saving 50 to 80%, also getting a brand new bulb at the same time. Now, I know we've been talking about these bulbs for a second, and uh, let me know before I show you what grew the Super Silver Sour Diesel Haze. By the way, this bulb grew the Super Silver Sour Diesel Haze. An $18 bulb, okay? How much, we got, like what? Uh, what was it, 618 grams off that plant? Off of an $18 bulb that was six months old. That $18 bulb was just as old as the Lumitech because I had ran those together. And uh, it wasn't until I got through half the grow that I realized that, that I fucked up and didn't replace them. So, this next recirculating DWC series, I have brand new bulbs that I will be dropping in and we are gonna fucking crank this bitch up, dude, to the moon, man. Um, oh, let me show you what it is. <clears throat> Cheap ass cheap they're not really cheap man these things are well built quality glass not thin thick components there there has to be a standard into making a light bulb you know what i mean there's always electrical standards to to any industry especially if anything has to do with uh high intensity discharge lighting they, they have to meet minimum standards so does lumitech and so does anybody else so you're not really buying a cheap bulb in my opinion, when I hold this Lumitech up to this $20 bulb, y'all can hear the how, how cheap this, 
this metal is, how cheap the glass is, you can hear that the fucking, and then, and then this. The Lumatex always have this rattling, cheap ass shit falling apart inside. And here, let me show you another bulb. This is a brand new, brand new Digilux. Look at the, the glass charge cylinder. Y'all see that right there? Brand new Digilux. I had this, this was my vegetative um, transition bulb and I barely ever use it. It's like brand new. I screwed it in, Digilux 600 mh I screwed it in and three or four days later, I came in the room and there was no lights on. And then I fucking pulled out the bulb and it's fucking cracked to the base of the mogul. I'm like, you son of a bitch, man. So there, there you go, $120 down the drain, man. But I didn't really pay for these anyway. So um, these, I just keep, that one's going in the garbage. This one, oh, it just stays around in case I need to use it. And uh, what I order now, guys, are these, man. I, or I just order these because they get replaced. Every grow to every other grow just depends on how, you know, if I can remember or not. I probably need to make a note up on the wall. Um, but <clears throat> bulbs are great. It doesn't matter if you get Apollo. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. You can just get any 600 watt bulb that puts out roughly, you know, 90, 95,000 lumens. Um, let's see what this box says here. I've never even read the box. 600 watts, 93,000 lumens, 2,000K. Okay, so you, it's all the same, man. You're going to be replacing these bulbs every grow anyway. Save yourself some money. Get bulbs that are brand new every grow and harvest more weight because they're brand new. Let's just say the bulb puts off at 100,000 lumens. By the end of your first or second grow, it probably puts off like 50 or 60,000 lumens, which was the case with the uh, How to Grow DWC series with the Super Silver Sour Diesel Haze and the Blue Dream. I kind of kicking myself in the teeth right now because I didn't replace those bulbs, but oh fucking well, there ain't nothing I can do about it. We still pulled fantastic numbers with used bulbs, um, and we're gonna fucking I'm gonna show you how to really we're gonna hit two pounds with the recirculating system and brand new bulbs. I guarantee fucking tee it. So, um, yeah, like I said, I get asked this question all the time. Here's the you know spectrum. So, to everybody out there, these are the bulbs I use, man. And it doesn't have to be Apollo. I just order anything that I, I come across and that, that are, there's a good deal, you know what I mean? Because they're gonna be getting thrown out and replaced within two to four months. Hagra Hybrid, signing out. Peace out, guys, keep it scrogged.